My name is Adam and welcome back to Brookman Finance. Today we're going to talk about Ethereum and moving in, into 2022 and how I believe that price is going to be affected by 2.0 if it comes or if it doesn't come. I've been getting a lot of questions about it so I wanted to bring this up. I'm, just, I'm going to do this in kind of a quick hit video. I don't really sound that, I really, well I don't sound that great. I don't feel that great. If you can't tell by the way I sound, I've actually got the runner right now. So I'm just trying to push through and bring you guys some value. So I really hope you appreciate that by liking the video and I hope you consider subscribing. Nonetheless, Ethereum. As it stands right now, uh, there's a lot of issues with Ethereum. It's still one of the most popular cryptocurrencies out there. And let me say, I think Ethereum is going to make a lot of people a lot of money. Ethereum, Ethereum is going to make people rich in the future. We're going to see Ethereum for decades. And I don't say that about a lot of cryptos. But right now, gas fees are just becoming unsustainable. It's not the fastest out there uh, network-wise. That some things that 2.0 is supposed to clear up. But for 2022, I think we're going to continue to see that bull run and we're going to see a lot of institutional investing. So I do think that Ethereum is still going to push up along with a lot of other cryptos. But I think without 2.0, you could still see Ethereum sitting at the end of next year, or at the end of this year rather, at $7,000. Now, if Ethereum 2.0 is released this year, and fingers crossed, because I know we, I, I would really like to see it released this year. If Ethereum 2.0 does come this year, you're looking at a, you're go, moving to a proof of stake model from a proof of work model, meaning it's going to be much more energy efficient. You're going to, the, the scalability is going to be much more improved. You're going to see a decreased amount of tokens released every year. So it kind of, it brings a deflationary d dynamic to Ethereum. Now you couple that with the remaining amount of bull run that we still have left in 2022. I, I don't think we're going to hit that bear market quite yet. And then you start seeing a lot more in institutional investing moving into crypto in general. I believe you will see, you will certainly see if Ethereum 2.0 comes, you will see Ethereum hit f uh, five figures. I think on the, on the bear side, you will see 10,000 on the super bullish side. I think you could see and I'm not the only one that thinks this, you could potentially see $20,000 per ether, but I think a realistic number kind of right there in the middle falls around that $15,000 mark. I think if 2.0 comes in and everything kind of stays in place, that bull market keeps pushing. We see that institutional investment in 2.0 comes to the party. We see Ethereum move to, 15, 000, to that $15,000 range. Some people think it can go $20,000 and above. Some people think it'll it'll land at that, that $10,000 mark if you know we're still not in that bull market or if uh, institutional investing isn't as high as we thought. I still believe that we will see $15,000 for Ethereum in 2022 if 2.0 comes to party. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm going back to bed because I feel like death, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear your price predictions. As always, I hope you stay safe. I hope you get rich and we will see you soon.